Same thing uh, with the dog here. You'll notice there's a dog on my site now. Um, that's this guy again. Started off with a uh, a basic sketch. Well, this is a little bit more than a basic sketch, but uh, this is just something I did on a piece of paper during some really boring management seminar a long time ago, and I just kind of liked it. I kept it, uh, and in the same process, started creating shapes, uh, tweaking things as I as I went along, just keeping everything on its own layer. Um, this is just another example. I have not animated him yet. Um, let me see if I uh, have anything else I can add in terms of little tips and tricks. By, for the frame rate, a common question too I get is what frame rate do I use? Um, there is no perfect frame rate. Uh, it all depends on what, how you set up your movie and how smooth you want everything to be. And I usually use 24 for the web or whatever. Um, even, even though that's standard for film, I've, I haven't, I've yet to do flash for film. But I like 24 because it's just a preference thing. I'm used to, uh, I, I know how many keyframes it's going to take for me to get a mo the type of movement I want. Um, and sometimes it's not all about smoothness. Uh, 12, it works really well also. Uh, but if you're going to use a higher frame rate like 24 or even 30, you just got to be careful about how you set up the movie. If you use, you know, if you set your movie to scale with the browser, uh, anything that large might uh, chug slower computers because 24 frames in one second is a lot to ask the CPU to, to redraw on your screen. Um, I usually try to keep things small. I try to avoid alpha channels whenever possible. Uh, another tip is if you're going to fade something out, if you have a solid color background, I prefer tint tween to the solid color because it, it'll, it'll be about a 30% increase in processor performance. It just doesn't chug it as much. Try not to animate too many things at once, and you can get away with 24 easily. A lot of people do, even more. Um, let me see. Maybe, maybe we'll just do a quick... I'm not sure how many, how much more I got on my... Uh, if there's any kind of time limit to this, but I'll keep on going. Um, let's see. Does 24 frames cause the file to be bigger? I don't think so. Um, in fact, if you want, let's just do it. Let's just test it out right now. Where's his walk cycle? All right, here's his walk cycle. I'm going to test this. Okay, Amy. All right, we got 9K happening here, this character walking across the screen. Um, his frame rate is 6 frames per second. I'm going to change that to 60, just to be crazy. Yeah, the, uh, the movie clip question, I'll get to that. That's a good question. Um, here we are at 60 frames per second, and it's the same. Um, I don't think... I don't think it affects file size at all. I think, if anything, it'll, it will affect processor performance on the end user. Um, and marginally, only if, uh, again, if you use lots of alpha and you just have tons of things moving and you go full screen. And I, liked, I prefer to keep a fixed movie size in the browser. And uh, it, just be smart about what you animate, how much you animate. And um, I prefer lots of, lots of little subtle movements over huge, giant fields of color flying around. Um, so something like uh, movie clips requiring different frames, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. I do know that, you know, as everyone knows, or most people know that who use Flash a lot, the movie clips timelines are independent from all other timelines. So um, when I'm used, like his hair is, it, the hair on his head I'm going to just quickly show you. It's really, it's three strands there, but I believe they're all the same. Nope, oh, there's two of the same. Uh, but they're movie clips, and I don't worry about their timing. If, if what you're asking is their timing with the, uh, the rest of the, of the animation, um, I try not to worry about it too much. I, um, I don't want to get that detailed. I don't want to get that 
be that you know perfect um if a t i don't know if a movie clip i don't know maybe someone else can answer that i don't know if a movie clip uh, has a requirement in terms of a different frame frame rate at all i don't worry about it it hasn't been an issue let's put it that way in all these years of of, of doing this stuff um what else I can show you. I think I'm almost done in about a minute or two. So anybody with any questions, I'll be I'll be sticking around for um actually let me let you I'm gonna just supply my email address. Um feel free to email me at any time. Um there I have a little bit of a spam filter so um Feel free to verify yourself through the spam filter. If it doesn't even prompt you, I'll find you and uh, and authorize your email. But feel free. I'm also on um, I am as well, all over the place. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna go for you know high frame rates, just be just be smart about how you do it. If you can totally get away with you know 24, 30. I've seen 60. I've seen higher than that, but um, I, I wouldn't really much, I personally don't go much higher than 24. I just don't see the need for, for what I do. All right. You're welcome, everybody. Thank you. I hope I wasn't sure how many people would be into into the whole learning about character animation, but um, I'm psyched. There's as many of you here as there are. Um, I'll have to look into Moho. I've heard about it. Um, wh one of the reasons, in general, I don't use anything other than Flash is that I often work with teams, lots of teams, and everybody uses Flash. If I switch to something else. I wouldn't get a chance to use it much. Another program I use a lot I really like is Swift 3D. Um, but ultimately, Flash, everybody uses. No matter who they are, where they are, everybody uh, can share Flash files. And it's become an industry standard as far as I'm concerned, as far as, uh, you know, in, in terms of the circles I'm running around in. Um, so that's the main reason. But I'm all I'm always into checking out other programs and stuff. But ultimately, Flash does everything. Um, you know, sometimes some of those programs will fall short a little bit. 